Okay, let's take two for the other half, Leo through Capricorn. I'm telling you, something weird is going on. I am going to do some more meditation tonight, call in some more protection. I just smudged some more and did some Palo Santo. Um, it's a real pain in the booty, I tell ya. And I'm pretty sure I know where this energy is coming from. So, Leo. Okay, Leo, dealing with some heartbreak today. All right. Which I definitely feel like there's some similarities that I can remember, but a little bit different than the message from earlier. Okay, your person, they're trying to go into this high energy, all right, in order to um, really make sure that they're doing what they can for the family, more or less, okay? I feel like you're doing what you can to try to bring this person back to you. All right. This person does want it, but they are going through a rebirth right now. All right. Okay. Yes, this is a divine connection. All right. Ten of Cups and the Lovers. And your person just wants to do some sort of nice, kind start, all right? Okay, you are restricting against, holding back against this person, okay? Even though you want to take a slow start towards them, I feel like, um, there's some sort of battle that they have to do first. Could be against you, could be against someone else, could just be holding on to things. Okay? But they do want to leap forward towards this. Okay, this was the last things that came out. All right, we'll see what happens at the end. This was for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn was supposed to go with the flow. And then their person had limiting beliefs, but they were trying to manifest. So we'll see when we get to Capricorn. Okay, try to take a new approach to this, Leo. Okay. I think that you'll find that you will release some of the um, heartache that you might be dealing with. Okay. Your person, they need to go through this in order to be able to approach this with no fear. Okay. Heartache and loss. I don't know if it's because you're at separation or something that you have to leave in order to be with your person. Yeah, it may be um, that you have to leave something because I've got this path here. Okay, but trust the process. All right. I hope that that is helpful, Leo. All right, we're going to move on to Virgo.
her go. Okay, Virgo, working on yourself right now. That is always good. Okay, your person, they're nearing the end of a cycle here, an ending of pain, okay? Okay, I feel like you are trying to protect this love, okay? But they are taking it as a pause right now, all right? Because of whatever pain that they're in. And that might be why you're trying to kind of like bubble wrap them. You are listening for some sort of truth from your person, some sort of inkling that they um, want to move forward, but not today. They are not going to tell you anything today. There it is. It was hiding. Okay, you do want to reignite, okay, some sort of rekindling here, all right, your person, okay, they are on a journey, I do feel like um, you're having to have patience with this, yeah, okay, because this journey, it's just all a tower, okay, they are having to work through this for a reason. Okay, those ones did not flip over, so I will not take them. Okay, divine timing is at play here. All right, let it take its course. All right, don't try to control this. Your person, all right, they're overcoming this tower. They're working through it. They're just going with the flow of it, all right? Let them work it. Yeah, I feel like, okay, your person does have a lot of fear associated, okay, with moving forward. Remember, roles could be reversed, though. That could be you, but it does feel like your person they've got to work through this or they're not going to be able to move forward okay so take it as it resonates all right we're going to move on to libra libra Okay, Libra, you are very guarded against this person. Kind of hoping that they'll come forward. It's like you feel like they'll come forward. All right. In the meantime, you're just going to keep doing the work and hoping that the path that you see is the path that you're going to move forward on. All right. Your person, six of wands, they're trying to figure out how to pull you back. All right, so they're moving into this very high intuitive energy. Now, both of these have the plane with the person on top. Okay, so I do feel like that um, you've moved away from this person. Okay. You're sad. Five of Cups. All you can think about is this lost two, two of Cups, okay? Your person with the Seven of Swords, all right? They may be thinking that maybe there's some way that they can um, getting seduce you, right? Get you to come back. 
However, they're leaving the decision on the ground. They're carrying the Five of Swords. So most likely that's just a thought in their head and they're not going to act on it. Yeah, keep working on yourself, Libra. Okay, that is the most important thing you can do here. All right, and there we have the plane again, okay? Like, your person will do whatever it takes to crash and burn this so that they can get you back. Okay, I feel like you've got to go through this rebirth, all right, because you need to see this love transform, okay? And your person, I feel like they're realizing that they have to put more effort in. Yeah, okay, they're realizing you are the Ten of Cups. You are everything they wanted and you got away. Okay, let go of the expectations of this. Okay, feel good about the fact that you've walked away from this and release this attachment. If it's meant to be, it will return. Okay. Okay, your person needs to open up to the fun, okay, of manifesting this to return. I feel like they've been very serious, okay, and that serious energy doesn't manifest anything. Sorry, Olive. <laughs> I'm like, this can't all be about chakras, okay? I was like, no. After sacral chakra comes out, and I'm like, of course the sacral chakra has to be worked on. There's got to be more to this than the chakras. Oh, wait a minute. There's the third eye chakra needs to be worked on. Guess what's on the bottom of the deck? The root chakra. Okay, so Libra, just work on your chakras. <laughs> all right? That's all you can do right now. That's all the oracles are giving you. <laughs> I take that as it resonates. We're moving on to Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. All right. You are kind of pulled back, restricting, all right? You've been trying to control things, and now you realize that it's almost like the universe has made a fool of you, and you're realizing that you have to let go of control anyway, all right? Because you weren't controlling anything but yourself in ways that were not supportive, okay? Your person, okay, they've come to this knowing, all right? I feel like they are trying to listen to you. I do feel like there's a separation here. Yes, you're still bound to this person, okay? You just don't see any way forward right now. But yes, this person is recognizing that you are the Two of Cups, that you are their soulmate, and they are working on nourishing this, even if it's from afar.
yeah, this person makes you happy even in spite of everything that you're realizing that you've kind of um, manifested in, in ways that really weren't helping you to get this person back. They were helping you <laughs> because it was, it's all meant to further your own energies, right? But it was doing nothing for your person. Your person was actually working on their own. But yes, this is a divine relationship. And this person does want the balance to come back to it. Okay, today you're in your head. Okay. Five of Wands. Internally unsure about what's going to happen. Your person is at the very end of this pain and this burden. Okay, with the Ten of Wands. Okay, with Temperance, know that you are kind of catching up with them, I feel like, and this is going to balance out. Okay, try to stay out of your head with that five of wands, okay? And just keep high vibes, all right? Move out of that devil energy and come into a higher frequency. All right, your person is realizing that they've transformed, that they are the person, okay, that is deserving of all of this. And that's why they're at that end. I feel like there's something in my eye. That's why they're at that end of the um, Ten of Wands. They're ready for movement forward. So yes, okay, I do still feel like you're in solitude away from this person. Okay, I feel like there's a fear of the tower coming down, so you're not quite ready. But, okay, I do feel like the abundance, okay, is going to come around here with material and spiritual prosperity. I feel like that um, you guys are nearing this ability to come back together and reconcile, all right? So take it as it resonates. We're moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, you are waiting for the arrival of something. I think that was the same card that came out the last time. Okay, your person, they're holding on to this cup, they're holding on to this love, but they're waiting you, okay? Ooh. That's why you're still waiting. Your person is dreaming, okay? St sitting up at night thinking and planning, all right, for this new beginning. You know, you're not too worried. You're in your inner strength here. Okay. Your person, they're figured out that you are the one that they want. All right. With the Nine of Cups. Okay. Here's the thing, though. There's still a part of you that just wants to swat at this person. Okay. Okay. There's a little bit of that empress that just wants to go, okay? And your person is trying to listen for their truth. They probably don't need a smack upside the head, even though that would make you feel better, okay? 
but just know this is still working in divine timing okay so just keep that light energy don't go into the negative into your head Okay, trust the process here okay movement is being made forward even if you can't see it okay your person is also learning okay to allow the universe to unfold everything for their highest outcome and they're learning to relax a little bit and have a little bit of faith in this coming together Okay, and it will come together. You're being guided here. Rejoice in celebration. It could be that you run into your person, okay, at like some sort of a get together. Um, or maybe they just reach out and say, hey, would you like to go grab coffee or something? But I do feel like things are moving together. All right, so take that how it resonates, Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, five of wands. Okay, you feel like you're in your head and I feel like you want the truth out of your person to get you out of your head, all right? Your person here, okay, they're wanting reconciliation here, Six of Cups, all right? Okay, ending a cycle here. All right, that's probably why you're so up in your head because you're at that almost point. Okay, your person is holding on to this cup, holding on to almost like a little pain and waiting for love to come to them. you're also waiting for love to come to you and with the two of wands though you're not really sure where that love is going to come from okay your person okay they are having some sort of anger issue they're in their head okay and they're angry You're also in your head. You might be drinking. Okay. Nine of swords. However, this your person here, okay? Someone took their happy away. Someone took their love away. Okay? I feel like they think if they just work on themselves, okay, they will get it back. Okay, whatever you're having that's triggering you, instead of reacting in your head, okay, try to respond in a loving manner, okay? Okay, your person, all right, they are trying to get a healthier new reality, okay? 
they are trying to manifest love. And there's going to be a twist of fate and the universe will surprise them. Okay, I do feel like you know exactly what fulfills you, okay, about this decision with the Two of Wands. And, okay, you're healing your heart. You intuitively know, okay, what it is. It even could be that you want a baby, okay? But take that as it resonates, all right? Okay, guys, second time through. Let's see if this one works, all right? See you next time. Bye.